Well, hello there, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to have a cozy fall getaway in St. Kitts and Nevis. So let's go ahead and go to these beautiful Caribbean islands. We left home very early this morning because we had a 5 a.m. flight from Boston to Miami and then we waited like about an hour in Miami and took the next flight from Miami to St. Kitts. We got to St. Kitts at mid-afternoon and it's a beautiful afternoon in St. Kitts today. We took a taxi from the airport because there is no Ubers in St. Kitts, but it was very easy to find a taxi at the airport. After we check in at the Mario Vacation Club, I'm going to go to the villa and I'm going to give you a tour of the entire villa. It is the beginning of the tourist season in St. Kitts and because of that, the hotel is pretty quiet. And also, to top it off, there is a tropical storm that turned into a hurricane category 1 coming to St. Kitts tomorrow. But I hope that there is only rain and nothing mayor. This is one of the timeshares that we have. It's a two bedroom villa and it can fit up to eight people. This is the guest room. I love how they decorate it with all the tropical colors like the avocado green and the plum color. It's a pretty big guest room with their own bathroom. This guest room is very sunny and it has a very nice view of the courtyard with many tropical plants and lots of palm trees. Moving along with the tour, this is the hallway that leads you to the living room, dining room and the kitchen. It is a very bright and sunny area because it has a lot of windows and a sliding door that backs another courtyard and the beach. The sofa in the living room is a bed sofa so it fits to additional guests. This table and chair belongs to the patio, but because of the possible hurricane, the staff move all the furniture inside. We don't usually cook in the kitchen when we are on vacation because we like to go to the local restaurants, but because of the hurricane, the front desk recommended to go by the grocery store across the street to buy some groceries because in case they lose power, the restaurants will be closed down. Across the kitchen, there is a closet with a washer and dryer, which is very convenient when you are traveling. Moving along on this side of the villa, there is a full bathroom that is the primary bathroom and is very spacious and sunny. It also has a gorgeous and spacious bathroom with a jacuzzi tub and also a shower. This bathroom has a beautiful view of the yard with many palm trees and this sidewalk takes you to the beach. This is one of the three pools that are located at the resort. And now we're going to go and take a look at the beach. This is the beach and it's the Atlantic Ocean. It is a little bit rough because of the upcoming hurricane. 
It is also pretty windy. My husband and I went for a walk and I was trying to control my hair with all the wind. Because of the hurricane passing by the island, we spent two days in the Mario Resort because it was raining every day. But today is a beautiful day, so we decided to rent a car and drive to see the fortress and all the attractions around San Kitts. Luckily, we rented a small compact car because the road is very narrow and also people in St. Kitts drive on the left side. We made it to the top of the fort and there is a beautiful view of the mountains and also the ocean. We arrived early at the fort, so it's good because not all the tour buses are here yet. So we're able to park the car here. This is our rental car, it's very cute. And we're going to go to the visitor center for the orientation and to watch the movie. And then we're going to explore the fort and the beautiful views. When you get to the top of the fort, you can see the island of San Eustatius, Saba, and San Martins. It is a very sunny day today and the view is spectacular. At the fort, there is also a small gift shop that sells some local crafts and also some soft drinks. So we stopped to get some soft drinks because it's very hot and humid. And then we're going to continue traveling around St. Kitts. After we left the fort, we drove on the countryside to get to the Romney Manor. The Romney Manor was owned previously by Sam Jefferson, who was the great-great-great-grandfather of Thomas Jefferson. The Romney Manor became a boutique enterprise in the 1970s. When you visit the manor, you can watch the artists doing demonstrations of the Baktik technique. After we watch the artists demonstrating their Baktik technique, and also tour the beautiful gift shop. We stop at the Rainforest Bar to get some refreshments and then we went around the beautiful gardens of the manor.
And now we're on the road again through these spectacular views of the ocean to go to the Park Hyatt Hotel to have some lunch. We arrive at the Park Hyatt Hotel and now we're going to go and get some lunch. This hotel has a beautiful location overlooking the water and also the island of Nevis, but it's kind of isolated so you definitely need a car if you're staying in this hotel. And just wait until you see the gorgeous infinity pool overlooking Nevis Island. My husband and I had a delicious lunch and a refreshing piña colada overlooking these gorgeous views. Now we're leaving because the sky is turning gray, so we want to leave before it starts raining, but on the way to the Mario Vacation Resort, we encounter torrential rain on the road. It's evening time and we're back at the Mario Vacation Club and we're going to go to eat dinner. It is the next morning and we were taking a cab to go to the ferry terminal to go to Nevis and we were not expecting to get this torrential rain, but it only lasted about 10 minutes, and now we're on the ferry to go to Nevis. It takes about 45 to 50 minutes to get to Nevis on the ferry. We already can see Nevis from the ferry and it is a beautiful island on a gorgeous day.
Nevis is a very small island and it's very easy to walk around. So we're planning to go to the History Museum, the Alexander Hamilton House, and also to the famous Nevis Thermal Bath. And then we're going to take a taxi to go to the Four Seasons Hotel to go to lunch. We also stop at the Nevis Tourist Office to get a map of the island. Our first stop is the Alexander Hamilton Museum and the Nevis History Museum. Nevis is the birthplace of Alexander Hamilton. And now we're going to take a walk towards the Nevis Thermal Baths and the Bath Hotel. But unfortunately, the Bath Hotel is under renovation. On the road to the Thermal Bath, you can see the locals selling their products. After walking for a few minutes, we arrive at the hot springs. And I'm going to try to see if I can get in the water to see how hot it is. This is one of the thermal baths. They just cleaned them because during the hurricane, it got kind of muddy. So I'm going to try to put my foot on the water, but it's 108 degrees. And there is a warning sign that you can only be on the bath for 15 minutes. The water was so hot that I cannot keep my foot on the water for more than a second. These are additional hot springs but they were a little bit muddy due to the heavy rain because of the hurricane. And now we're going to walk up the hill to see the historic Bath Hotel that is currently under renovation. The Bath House Hotel and Spring House was built of stone along the Bath Stream in 1778, and it was the first official hotel to open in the Caribbean. And now we're going to walk to the center of the town to take a taxi to go to the Four Seasons Hotel to get some lunch.
after walking around the island all morning in the heat and humidity. We spent a relaxing afternoon enjoying a refreshing piña colada and a delicious lunch at the Four Seasons Resort. After lunch, we took a taxi back to the beach to take a water taxi to San Kitts. Instead of taking the ferry back to St. Kitts, we use the water taxi, and the taxi takes about 10 minutes to go from the beach in Nevis to the beach in St. Kitts. It is Friday and it's our last day in St. Kitts. Today we're going to drive to return the car and then we're going to drive to the airport. We're already at the airport and we're flying first to Miami and then flying to Boston. It was a wonderful week in this beautiful Caribbean island. Thank you so much for coming with me to this cozy fall getaway. If you like this video, please make sure that you subscribe and give a big thumbs up to the video. I'm Jacqueline Marie, and I hope to see you next time on Jacqueline Marie Living. Have a fantastic week.